everybody, welcome back to my channel, your friendly neighborhood budgeter here. And today we're going to be stuffing the first um, paycheck of July, which after taking everything out that needs to go into the bank and so on and so forth, we are going to be stuffing $221. Um, it's kind of smaller than what I anticipated, but at the same time, it's a holiday week this upcoming week, which starts on Sunday. So it's going to be made up for next week for sure. I have a feeling. But we're going to start with seeing how much money I have left over for my allowance. It's not a whole lot, but we're going to carry it over anyway. So we have five, six, seven, and eight. And then for myself, I get $20 a week. Sometimes I get more. It just kind of depends on what, what the week feels like. But where it's a holiday week and I have money left over, I feel like $28 is going to be enough. So 25 six, seven, and eight. Can you tell I mess with a till a lot? Because since all my bills are faced most of the time. Oop. Fold this up. And then also, these have been kind of living in here for a while. And I've just honestly been lazy. <laughs> and I haven't put them in my coin jar yet. So we're just going to go ahead and dump these right in here. Don't spill. Don't make a mess. I'm going to spill and make a mess, y'all. Is that everybody? Oh, no. You're stuck. Did they hit the camera? There we go. It's already heavy. I mean, I know I use a pasta jar, but that's already heavy. I've been saving up my coins for as long as I can remember, honestly, it's about once a month or if before I go on a trip, I always cash it in just so I have that extra money. But I haven't, I haven't emptied this in two, three months now. Anyway, moving on, sorry. We are now going to go to our cash envelopes. Woo! I still just use the paper ones. I don't mind it. I do, I do have some on the way, though, which is kind of exciting. Um... And when they do get here, I don't know, maybe I'll do an unboxing. I think that's what they're called. I don't know, I'm super excited for them. I got them from the creator Princess Budgets, I believe her name is. And I'm so excited. But for savings this week, we are getting $20. Which should bring our total up to 60 right? Yeah, 60 There's 60 in here now. Just savings in general. I don't know what the savings is going to go for. I have a whole bunch of like savings accounts that none of them have particular goals at this point. They're just technically growing, which I'm not mad about. Mischief Unmanaged, this one is one of the newer ones. This is technically my emergency fund and it's now going to get started off also with $20. I don't know how to professionally put money in envelopes yet. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. Car stuff. So car stuff is actually going to be switching it up starting next paycheck. So I started cash stuffing like in the middle of my pay periods and I wanted to save up my payment basically in two and a half paychecks. So that's why I have a random amount in here. Because usually it would just be $50 that you would add, but I have to add 66 <laughs> So, get the payment part out. You can tell these envelopes are small, the way I have to crinkle these poor bills. Boop, boop. And it gets $66 for the payment and insurance, so two, four, six. Five and sixty-six, just to be safe. Two, four, six, five, sixty-six. One. I gotta organize it. Here we go, and that is now my full car payment of just shy of. Two hundred and two hundred dollars. <laughs> and then the other thing we have in here, after I fold it, which way gets folded, 
Martha looks so sad, but it's the only way I can make it fit and include the other part in here. I might just need to break down and make another envelope that's strictly for car payments. <laughs> it looks so silly. Car stuff swishes just anything and in between gets $25. So here's five. 20, 5, 10, 30, 50, and it goes on this side, <laughs> it looks so silly, <laughs> but we make it work, we make it work over here, we make it work. Then we have groceries this week, and groceries is getting $20. I already have a bunch of groceries left over and I actually got um, a $5 gift card from my store recently for, I, I guess I helped the secret shopper, which woohoo, good job, but they give us little incentives like that. And then again, I still live with my, my mom, so a bunch of the stuff that's in the fridge she just kind of lets me use. I buy like my turkey peppers, other produce specifically that I will use and they won't typically. So it doesn't always get a whole lot. And then travel, just because we're going up on a trip soon and I had the extra money to pull out besides just the cushion and stuff I keep in the bank anyway, it's getting 40 this week, which will be our last two here. So 20 and 40. I don't know how much travel has right now. Is it just 60? Yep, it's just 60 so far. So, 20, 40, 60. I don't want to fold it that weird again. We're just going to fold it I guess, like a normal person, even though I don't like folding my dollar bills. So that now has 60. Oops. Other way. There we go. And then my familiars, which is basically my pets. They are getting $10 this week because they have, they have a weird amount. I think it's like 30 Is it 36 Yeah, it's $36. They have a weird amount, but that's okay. So, whoops. We got one, six, seven, two. There we go. So 20, 30, 5, 40, 5, 46. Alright. Alright, and with those cash stuff, now we can move on to documenting that we actually put stuff in the envelope essentially. I don't have like fancy budget trackers or anything like that. I usually just try and bullet journal my way through it I guess is how you put it. Oh and I'm so sorry I have a window in front of me and it wants to glare. There we go. I closed the curtain. Sorry about that. But now we can kind of just say how much we added, and then at the end of the month, we're going to add up and see what we got, essentially. So for savings, we added $20. For trips, we added $40. Ramen, it, like I said, it's really not a, a sinking fund, but I'll, if since I don't use everything every week, I kind of want to just keep track of it so I can add it to Mischief Managed. So it, it had nothing when we first started, but now it has $20. Familiars, we added $10. Car stuff, got another $25. And then Mischief got $20. I should also put
put the date so I know when. have everything tracked and everything's in our cash envelopes <laughs> and with that I like I think we're done um, thank you so much for checking out my channel I will hopefully see you guys next week when we do paycheck number two which I find something very interesting is actually happening with my paycheck number two I've been with my company now for about six years and I got called into um, the office the other day because there's this very random anniversary bonus that was added and no one had any idea like what was going on we talked to hr talked to my boss no one had a clue but like six other people had it that started around the same time i did so i might be getting an extra almost 14 hours i don't know i'm gonna plan as if i don't and then anything that we have is gonna obviously go into our, our sinking funds but that might be also happening. I I don't know yet. <laughs> but we'll find out we'll find out together when that happens on payday. And if I need to adjust, I will adjust before I record. But other than that guys, thank you so much. Um I hope you guys have a good day and if you're just starting your budgeting journeys kinda like me, just remember it's a journey, have fun with it, incorporate things that will make it easier and fun for you. It's difficult. But I know you can do it. If I can do it, I think almost anyone can do it. <laughs> um, again, with that being said, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next week.